Hi guys and welcome back to Bidirect Online. In this video, I'm going to show you how a simple monitor stand can really change the ergonomic setup of your office, your monitor and your keyboard. This simple stand can be used and it'll set you up correctly and it'll also prevent any injuries in your neck and any strain with your eyes. So bear with us as we just go over a few points here. So we've got a monitor here and a keyboard and our mouse. Now the general rule that we know of is obviously arm's length. Now as you can see I'm a bit close here so we need to move this monitor back and we need to be able to get it so the monitor's out there on the edge of our TV. That's perfect. Okay now the other thing we need to, to look at is the eye level. Now your eye level is supposed to be around the top of the screen a little bit, a little bit lower so that you're only looking down slightly to the middle of the screen. Well, as you can see mine, mine's up quite high. So we need to correct that. So that's where the um, monitor stand comes into play. Now, I'd like to open up and show you the U-board, which is the smart board. It's a glass monitor stand. And we'll just go over the how this can obviously ergonomically set up your office correctly so that you can work and you won't cause injury while you're working. So here we go. We'll just open this up and show you how this actually goes together. Very well packaged, as you can see. Good uh, phone protection here. We've got the glass board. So you want to be careful there. We've got some instructions and information on the board itself which hopefully if I do this video right it'll help you in putting this together so you won't have to rely on that as much. We have our glass board, the toughened glass you can see, little penetrations on either end for our stands so quite nice being that it's transparent and see-through. We have a couple of stands that go on either end and here we have one with the USB port. Now you need to obviously plug that into your computer, uh, be it a laptop, some sort of power source so that then you've got the ports, you've got three ports here, if you'd like a docking station you can plug other devices in. So that's a great little benefit of this monitor stand. And here we have the other. The other side stand, yeah, it's quite well, well constructed, well designed. A couple of other accessories that come with it. Here we have a little cup holder and envelope, invoice, paper, stand. I'll show you how that works. And a mobile phone holder. Everyone has a mobile phone these days, so here we have a little holder with, you can see a hole through it where you can plug your cord and charge your phone. And then we have some fixings to put our monitor stand together and some little caps and plugs. Very good. Right. Now we'll get into this. We can take off our cover. And we have our glass monitor stand. You'll need a screwdriver, Phillips head, or you could use a battery drill. Uh, a screwdriver is fine. You won't over tighten the, the, the screws. So we'll just open up them. And there's four screws. And then we have four little caps or plugs that go over the top of the screws. And then in this last one, we have four little stoppers, little rubber mounts that go underneath on the bottom of the stands, just so that it's it's fixed well on your on your desktop, doesn't mark your desktop and it doesn't move around. 
So we'll fit all those. Okay, now these stands could go a couple of different ways. You could have the, the power obviously at the left hand side or the right hand side. When you do that, you'll obviously have your power, like if you do it, go on the right hand side, you'll have your power coming out the front. And if you put it on the left hand side, you'd have your power going out the back. So in this setup, I think we'll go with the left hand side. So we've got the power coming out the back. That leaves our blank um, bracket to go on the other side. So if we slide these on, quite simple as you can see. There we go. Got our stands. On the end, we just need the screws. So I just recommend to put, put your screws in each of the holes so that you can line them up correctly. And then we'll go about to tighten them up. Just make sure that you're going straight down. And we can tighten them up. As you can see, it's quite simple just with a screwdriver. The last one. Okay, so we have our screws in, we've got our board fixed in, and we've got our little caps that go on the top, and they've got a little spot that they click in. You might want to um, just use the end of your screwdriver or something that's blunt that you can just um, push them in with. If you've got really strong fingers, you can use them as well. You've got a little, um, there's just a little tab on the side that you line up in here and click that in. So it goes into uh, into position. Don't drop them like I did. It's a bit hard to find on the dark carpet. Okay, so there we go. And we've got a quite a good length of cord on our plug here that you could plug in to power up the board. So we have our monitor, sorry, we have our mobile phone holder, and you've got a couple of little, um, couple of little points here that have got a little cross that you can line it up with, so you can put it at the front or the back, depending on where you want, and obviously where you want your phone, and if you've got a mouse, if you don't want it in the way. And then our cup holder, once again, on this side, you've got a couple of mounts back and front. So, any coffee drinker, I'll put that at the front. And then we have our little, little lugs that go on the bottom. So we'll just show you how they work. We just flip this over. And they're just a little adhesive back, sticky back and just go straight into these little holes there. So, in circles, shall I say. And that will then enable our stand to sit nicely on the, on the tabletop. And not scratch the surface. So, we're done. There we go. We'll just dispose of these. So we have our stand. Looks great. As you can see, it's glass, so it's clear. It doesn't look um, doesn't make the desk look cluttered or busy. So we've got a uh, mobile phone over here. We can show you how that works. You've obviously got your your holder like so, and if you've got a plug um, cord, you can plug it into your port source here or another power source and up underneath 
you can run the cord through the hole and obviously charge it while it's in the holder. So that's quite a useful tool. And on the other side, we have a copy holder. So probably not the right cup, but it works. And if you want to put some letters or bills as they come along, you can pop them in there and let you know that they're a reminder that they need to be attended with. So yeah, a great little, little setup. Now, for the part that we've got the, the monitor for, the monitor stand for is obviously to hold our monitor and quite, quite a, it's quite a strong quite a strong board. I'll um, pop that over here. And seems to seems to hold that quite well. I'll just make sure that's in the right position. Right, so we're we're setting up now and we've got obviously the screen at the arm's length which um, works well. And then, as you can see, my eye level now is, well, perfect. We're sitting, we're sitting around here, which means I've only got to dip down a little bit to the middle of the screen, and it'll stop um, any craning, and obviously injury that could, um, could happen with stretch muscles and that sort of thing, headaches in your neck um, when you're bending down like we were previously. So hopefully this, uh, this video just goes over the importance of having your, your office um, or your monitor and keyboard where it be in the office or at home, set up correctly so that you can obviously work without having those injuries that could potentially come along if you're not, not set up correctly. And it's just to show you also how simple it is to have a little monitor stand that, um, and, and put it together. And it's got a few extra, um, extra benefits and, uh, and features. Um, popping here up back in here now that we've got it all set up and obviously you can slide your keyboard under and do other tasks if need be so that's uh, that's quite a quite a handy little storage area so I trust this um, video has been helpful and shows you the U board the smart glass monitor stand if you have any further questions or you'd like to know some more information about it please reach out to us at uh, buydirectonline.com.au and thanks very much for watching.